What's going down, Clutch? What? What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Duck. It's your boy Ross. And we are in the Clutch. Hey, back to you, ladies and gentlemen, with another video. You feel me? Happy Thanksgiving Happy to you guys. Happy Thanksgiving, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys are enjoying that much needed family time. Facts. Uh, and if you are social distancing, here, we are your family. You know Facts. what I'm saying? Because I know a lot of people uh, probably ain't doing the same usual like they used to. So mm -hmm. uh, we're going to go ahead and be that. That family that people may be needing right now, you know Facts, what I'm saying? Man. So, uh, we about to drop some bangers for y'all today. For uh, sure, for sure. First, trying not to laugh is gonna be ni nasty liars caught out. All right, man. Um, y'all know how the liars, liars are. Oh, there's some liars out there, man. Big time. So uh, this should be interesting. Of course, try not to laugh. So y'all do as well, and uh, we'll see what these these lies they get caught in, man. Yeah. So. Go ahead and get that plate warmed up. Make sure it's yeah. good, hot, and steamy. Let's get into this video. You feel me? Let's do it, man. And bring you out of action. Let's go. <clears throat> they do this every time. William Conboy's life upside down. A respected young Albany attorney who all of a sudden was facing charges filed by his own wife, Kelly, that he was beating her right here inside oh. the couple's house. Everybody who knew him knew this wasn't you know true but what no one else did because you pick up the paper he's on the front of the local section he's a batterer it's this it's this it's you know it's horrible he went through hell as a young prosecutor william conboy knew he had been placed in a very very tough position of being forced blocked. to prove a negative in other words he had to prove that something did not happen but that's when he took out his cell phone and called his wife i want you to know what's going to happen okay. if you are not out tonight with all your I will call the Albany Police Department and say that you beat me and get an order of protection next Whoa. week next year. Are you going to make something up that I hit you? Yeah. Without a doubt. Why would you do that, Kel? Why would I do that to get you the out of the house? That's why. As it turns Whoa. out, the tape recordings were more than enough for wow. Bill Conboy that to be cleared be serious, of all charges. Bro. From the distraught mother whose heartbreaking mm -mm -mm. plight prompted sympathy the world over. That shit crazy. To one of the most vilified women in Britain. Karen Matthews' fall from grace was dramatic. In one of the most notorious crimes of recent times, ten years ago Matthews from Dewsbury was locked up for faking the kidnap of her own daughter, nine-year-old Shannon. Emergency. I know this should be a trial. I know, right? Right, I'll order you. One, nine, yeah. When did you last see her? She went to school this morning. But you've run around all her friends. Yeah. You've been in touch with all her relatives. Yeah. And there's nowhere else that you've got left to look. No. Has she been missing before? No, first time. What the caller? During the 24 days of absence, Karen Matthews and her boyfriend Craig Meehan made multiple TV appearances pleading for information and shedding what now turned out to be crocodile tears. If anybody's got my daughter, my beautiful princess daughter, please bring her home safe. It makes me think now I can't trust the people who's really close to me anymore. I just can't trust them. Bro, that's People crazy. from the Dewsbury area, Shannon's hometown, came out in the hundreds to help search for the missing girl and console the grieving mother. 24 days later, she was found alive, hidden under a bed in the home of her stepfather's uncle, only a mile from where she lived. It's thought Shannon was imprisoned by her mother as part of a plan to claim a £50,000 reward offered by a national newspaper. Jessica Ann Smith, wow. a mother and fitness buff, Scummy. said she was battling Very cancer scummy. at just 32 years old, but was rallying support, encouraging friends and family to hashtag fight like a Jessica. With medical bills piling up, supporters answered the call, raising over $10,000 on GoFundMe and Facebook to help. People are coming out of the woodworks to help, which is, I mean, like, will restore anyone's faith in humanity. But investigators say it was all a lie perpetuated by Smith to dupe Good Samaritans into giving her money for a disease they say she didn't have, wow. a hoax that led to her arrest. Her story gained added attention in July. I'll be looking forward to posting that I'm in remission. When Smith was invited to speak about her diagnosis on the podcast, The Ever-Evolving Truth. The doctor is taking my history 
as he's looking at my blood work and he's like, I really think you have colon cancer. I actually have some like chemo burns right now. People have tried to say I'm scamming people. If anyone straight up came up to me and was like, I think you're faking this. I, I literally would say, okay, you're coming to chemo with me on Monday. <laughs> she reappeared on the podcast four days later, taking aim at the people accusing her of lying. Here is my um, fitness for duty form with the word cancer on it. Smith stood by her story, but what she didn't know was that police were already investigating after they say her own husband came forward telling them he did not wow. believe his wife had cancer. According to police, Jessica's story began to unravel. They say her doctor told them those photos, which she claimed showed her receiving chemotherapy, was not chemotherapy at all, but an iron infusion for anemia. Meanwhile, Smith is facing separate charges in Delaware for identity theft and criminal impersonation of a law enforcement officer. The troubling video shows Homestead Corrections off. Bro, that's sick, bro, because there's people really out there mm -hmm. that have diseases and stuff like that. If you to play like that, dude, yeah, that's not that's, even not that's not cool, even cool, bro. bro. Nah, this, yeah, this is not a try not to laugh. This is just a try not to get pissed. Yeah, that's at some that's, humans. People so scummy, man. All for some money, bro. All for money, bro. Crazy. Officer Lester Brown escorting a handcuffed mm. inmate into the booking area. Watch as Brown shoves the inmate from behind, sending him tumbling face first into a concrete wall, oh, damn. causing him to bleed from the head, he requiring a, a trip to the more. hospital. Miami-Dade State Attorney Catherine Fernandez Rundle says Officer Brown lied on his written report about the incident, claiming Alvarado was combative and tried to attack officers. Uh, she said video contradicts those claims, yeah. showing right. Alvarado but rather calmly walking in without a struggle. Yeah. Brown also claimed the inmate yeah. fell forward hey, into the wall. For? Brown yeah, is now charged that's... with felony battery and official misconduct. Homestead's yeah. chief of police also condemning his officer's actions. I understand that you have had patients that have stood up and walked away from wheelchairs who have ALS. There have been patients that have improved to, to that extent. You've reversed the condition? Yes. You know, Mr. Stowe, the trouble is that you're a con man. Really? You're, you're lying about this, this protocol. Funny. You've lied about your association with the University of Texas. Oh. You've lied about your work you with team. the FDA. Oh. And now you're lying to these gentlemen about what they can expect. And why do you say that? Nobody at the FDA knows anything about any of this. And the University of Texas is not going to be starting a regenerative medicine clinic with your name on it. Wow. Really? Is that a treatment that would allow them to stand up out of a wheelchair and walk away? With an ALS patient? No, we've done it with MS patients. I don't believe that's what they understood. Well... I don't then, believe that's what you told them. Then they weren't listening. Can you give... Oh, actually, I we were listening okay. very... Carefully. Okay, do you have the tape recordings? I do. Pull them out. This was your meeting in Houston. Oh, oh right. dang, in our city, uh, damn. Well, if I opt for the uh, permanent fix, what, keep me out of a wheelchair? Yeah, oh, yeah, absolutely. No, we've, we've had uh, Bro, uh, he's a, a number of uh, he's ALS, you know, patients. He's committed. Um, yeah. They would get out of their wheelchairs. Yeah. That's not true, is it? He committed. The Stowe Foundation has not. Bro, they've been in that room Steve, for a minute, that you were bro. Gonna keep him Look at the time pass, bro. He's been getting that's flamed. Not true either. Oh, it's been 60 it's minutes. A, Facts. No, that's very true. You're going to sit here after seeing that, and you're going to look this man in the face and tell him that he's going to stay out of a wheelchair? I mean, that's cruel. Really? We wondered what Stowe would say to the idea of giving Michael Martin his $47,000 back. Whoa. Has he asked for it? I'm asking. We give it back to him. Now that's a deal I'd like to make. Really? Okay. Fine. Of course, that refund never came. Of course. Now you're not running away on me, are you? Well, I was planning on leaving, yes. Okay. I think I'm done. All right. Thank you. You've just cost this man his life. I want you to know that. You know, I don't think so. Okay. In October, Jennings bro, claimed she developed you know, a rare muscle. What? That's cold. And as bold as hell, bro. Like, dog, when somebody catch you and got you on video, dog, your commitment is up. Let it go. This nigga stay committed. 
just give the man his forty. Come on, you just cost him his life. No, bro, give him his money back. That's oh, cold, bro. bro. I doubt he ever did, but nah, it's, bro. It's some sick ass people out there that will take advantage of anybody, bro. The weak, bro. Man. The weak or the vulnerable, man. Be careful out there who you who you trust and you know who you put your your money to, man. Facts. People will take advantage of your situation just man. like this. This guy's a piece of shit, bro. I don't even like cursing like that. But nah, facts. He's, he's a piece of shit, bro. Muscle disorder called dystonia after getting a seasonal flu shot. The illness made it tough for her to talk. It's oh. a ba- battle every day. Wow. Even more bizarre, Jennings had trouble walking forward, but not walking backwards. And she could run, but couldn't stop easily. Oh. It's heartbreaking to see it. I want people to look at me and know this could happen. But look at Jennings now. Inside Edition supplied this video of her walking normally, playing with her dogs, shopping, and even driving. Inside wow, Edition had Jimmy. been seen. I was really about to feel bad for smirking, bro. I remember bro. this, bro. No, oh. I remember this story. Oh, my God. Frequently taping Jennings for weeks. We've been trying to reach you, and you have not been returning our phone calls. Oh, I'm sorry. What's going on? It looks like you've made a complete recovery. Uh. Well, I don't want to say complete recovery. I still have a lot of cognitive, cognitive issues. Inside Edition obtained this official report on Jennings' case by the Centers for Disease Control. She Control. did all that, bro. It says the admitting neurologist thought there was a psychogenic component. Psychogenic meaning a mental or psychological Psycho. cause yeah. for the symptoms. Jennings calls the idea that her illness is all in her head crazy. I mean, they, they, people are free for to, to believe whatever they want, but, you know, I mean, clearly what I've been going through, I know it's not psychogenic, and it's not a hoax. By now, you've probably noticed Jennings spoke with a foreign accent that she'd never had before. I'm from Ohio. I should not be talking like this. There's no way a flu shot can cause someone's accent to change. Absolutely not. One more thing to notice, when Inside Edition first approached Jennings in this parking lot, she seemed to be walking normally. Yeah. But after their interview, oh, no. she walked to her car Don't sideways, it. saying it was dystonia. Give it up, man. They bro, got you, bro. That's, bro, she in this hoe doing. Bro. Bro, dog. She that's was... not, yo. For those who try to take advantage of the situation it, it, usually most of these Bro. cases seem like money related for the most part when you sitting up there trying to take advantage of an actual illness that people are actually going through there's a special you're a special individual, bro. That's all I'm gonna say. I ain't trying to get too, to too, uh, too, uh, you know, vulgar with it. But yeah, nah, bro. It's it's certain stuff you just don't do. There are real people bro, said- that are going through certain diseases and illnesses, and you just use it as a come up, bro, to scam people and get money, bro. It's not cool, man. Not cool. So yeah, yeah. this was more. It, it had some funny moments, but this was more so a try not to, you know, what I'm saying, get, get mad pissed. at somebody because this is, yeah, there's some scummy people out there. So be careful who you trust when it comes to your money, bro. No nah, facts, bro. And then, uh, hey, the homie said it, bro, because it's, it's some really people. It's really people out here that will take advantage. So you got to be very careful. And you know, it's mostly people that's either sometimes by themselves or mentally weak. Facts, you know, and is, is people will pry on the weak, so you got to be very careful, man, mm-hmm. and, and keep a strong mind at all times, bro. Facts. Somebody will take advantage. Facts. Just don't trust anything that everybody say. Mm-hmm. Uh, but nah, man, we appreciate y'all for joining, man. Again, all happy right. Thanksgiving. Hope for you sure, guys sure. are eating with the family, or mm-hmm. if you're not, hope you're eating a good meal at all. If Facts. anything, you feel me? Be thankful for it. Thankful to God uh, that we're still here, that we're still able to just be amongst the living yeah. and uh, spread whatever it is we have while we are here Facts. so uh let's keep on pushing let's keep on rocking man we love you guys stay safe out there in them covid streets we love you again and we in the clutch already it goes into this been through that been through this and on my past i found bliss in the way that i carry on my back let my soul sing my song it goes ooh, nah, 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 nah. i still rose from all my lows